you guys, this is Mr. Millings, and today we're going to continue our discussion of solutions. And today we're going to learn a little bit about how to calculate uh, this, the composition of a solution using something called mass percent. Okay, so today we're going to learn a little bit about something called mass percent. And what is mass percent? Well, it says right here to get the mass percent of a solution, that is, to figure out how much solute is dissolved in a solution. It's simple. We take the mass of the solute, the mass of the stuff that's dissolved in the solution, and we're going to divide that by the mass of the entire solution. Now keep in mind that a solution consists of two parts, the solute plus the solvent. So we add these two things together to get the mass of the entire solution, and once we do that, we multiply by 100%. So quite simply, to get the mass percent, it's simple. We take the mass of the solute, divided by the mass of the entire solution, and then we're going to multiply by 100. So let's suppose we have 15 grams of NaCl right here, and we have 100 grams of water, or 100 milliliters of water right here. And you know that 100 milliliters of water is equal to 100 grams of water because the density of water from an earlier video we learned is 1 gram per milliliter. Okay, so 100 milliliters of water is going to have a mass of 100 grams. And so what we're going to do with this 15 grams of salt is we're going to scoop some, or we're going to scoop the entire thing into this beaker of water. We're going to stir it up, and now we have a solution of salt water. And so what we want to figure out is the mass percent. We want to know the mass percent of the salt that has been dissolved in this water right here. Well, to get the mass percent, it's simple. We take the mass of the solute, which is 15 grams, and we're going to divide this by, we're going to divide this by the mass of the entire solution, right? The mass of the entire solution. Now, the mass of the solution is not 100 grams. This is the mass of the water. Remember, the mass of the solution is the water plus the salt here, right? So 100 plus 15 is 115. And just for sig fig purposes, we're just going to go ahead and make this a decimal right here. We'll make the decimal too. So we have 115 grams of solution. And then we're going to simply multiply by 100%. And so the mass percent of the salt that is in this solution is going to be, it looks like, 13.0%. Actually, it's just going to be 13% if we use the correct number of sig figs here. Let me get rid of this decimal here. We have two sig figs here. We have three sig figs here. So it looks like it's just going to be 13%. If we use the correct number of sig figs, the mass percent of the salt that is in this solution is going to end up being 13%. So we have a 13% by mass uh, salt water solution. Okay, so let's work a few more examples out and, uh, and apply the, uh, the formula for mass percent to uh, several different examples. All right, so we're, when working with the mass percent formula, here's the main formula. Mass percent equals mass of solute over mass of solution times 100. But what we can do is we can manipulate this formula around to solve for the mass of the solute. If you want to solve for the mass of the solute, it's simple. All we need to do is take the mass of the solution and the 100% here and put it on the other side of this equation. And the way that we do that is by taking this and putting it up here on the other side and taking this and put it, putting it on the bottom over here on the other side. And what we end up with is this formula right here. To get the mass of the solute, it's mass of solution times mass percent divided by 100%. Well, what if you're asked to figure out the mass of the solution? Well, that's simple. To figure this one out, we take this, we put it on top over here, and we'll take this, and we'll put it on the bottom over here. And what we end up with is this formula right here. So the mass percent formula, we can actually break down to three different formulas and solve problems where we're asked to figure out mass percent, mass of solute, or mass of solution. So let's apply these three formulas to three different example problems. Okay, in this first example, it says a solution is prepared by mixing 25.5 grams of salt with 150 grams of water. Calculate the mass percent of salt in the salt water solution. So to get the mass percent, we take the mass of the solute, 
divided by the mass of the solution. So how much stuff is being dissolved? Well, let's take a look at this word problem. A solution is prepared by mixing 25 and a half grams of salt. It looks like the salt is the substance that is being dissolved. So the mass of the solute is right here. We have 25.5 grams of salt. That's the mass of the solute. Let's read on. We're mixing this salt with 150 grams of water. So the solvent has a mass of 150 grams. So what do you think the mass of the entire solution is going to be? Well, if we add this to this, we should end up with 175.5 grams as the mass of the solution. And last, we just multiply by 100%. So to get the mass percent here, we take the mass of the solute, which is 25.5 grams, And then we're going to divide this by the mass of the solution. Remember, the solution always contains two parts, the solute plus the solvent. All right, so we have to add these two together, and we'll end up with 175.5 grams times 100%. We'll put this in the calculator. And it looks like we'll end up with, if we use the correct number of sig figs, 14.5%. Okay, so it looks like here we have got a 14.5% so, uh, sodium chloride solution by mass. All right, let's take a look at another problem. All right, in this problem here, it says cow's milk contains 4.5% lactose, uh, which is a sugar. Okay, so... Cow's milk contains 4.5% uh, this, of the sugar by mass. We have to calculate the mass of the lactose present in 175 grams of milk. So we have some milk here. Let's draw this out. Right? And this, uh, the milk here, it says here, has a mass of 175 grams. Meanwhile, we know that 4.5% of this milk by mass is lactose right so 4.5 percent by mass is lactose and we have to calculate we want to know how many grams of lactose there are in this milk so we're trying to figure out the mass of the solute we want to know the mass of the lactose that has been dissolved in this milk here right so how do we figure this out well we know the mass percent here so we know the mass percent is 4.5 percent we know the mass of the entire solution is 175, so we can just plug those values into this formula to figure out the number of grams of lactose that are dissolved in this milk here. So to get the mass of the sol uh, solute, in this case the lactose, we're going to take the mass of the solution, 175 grams, times the mass percent, which is 4.5%. And then we're going to divide this by 100%. And so when we put this in our calculator, we'll end up with, let's see here. Seven point nine. it looks like. If we use the correct number of sig figs. We have 7.9 grams of lactose that has been dissolved in this cow's milk, in 175 grams of cow's milk. Okay, So that's how we figure out the mass of the solute. Let's take a look at one more problem. Okay, in this last example, it says if 75 grams of sodium nitrate is dissolved to make a 15% solution of sodium nitrate, then determine the mass of the solution. So now we're asked to figure out the mass of the solution. The way we do that is to take the mass of the solute which it says right here is 75.0 grams of this stuff right here that is being dissolved. So that's the mass of the solute right here. We're then going to multiply by 100% and then we're going to divide by the mass percent of the solution, which it says right here is a 15% solution. Okay, so let's do that. To get the mass of the solution, We're going to take the mass of the solute, the stuff being dissolved, 75.0 grams, 
which has three significant figures, times 100%. And then we're going to divide this by the mass percent, which is 15%. And when we put this in our calculator, we will end up with Looks like 500. This cancels out. The percent sign cancels out, leaving us with grams. All right. Now, uh, keep in mind, this here has three significant figures. Uh, so we should be using three sig figs here. And in order to do that, we have to put a decimal in that number right there. And so it looks like the mass of the solution is going to be 500 grams. All right, so that is how we calculate the mass percent of a solution. If you like what you see, go ahead and click that little bomb in the uh, bottom right-hand corner here, and that will subscribe you, and I hope this was helpful.